Hello everyone and welcome to this guided meditation to connect with the goddess Isis. She is a wonderful goddess and this meditation has been brewing for a while. She is also, in my experience, incredibly powerful and she knows it. So I think She's a fabulous goddess to call on for healing. If you look at all of her mythology, and there is lots of mythology around Isis, she is often depicted as the mother, as a healer. But, you know, she's not a we call wishy-washy goddess in any sense of it. She has a soft and gentle side, she can be very healing, but I think when you accept her healing, honestly, it's just, it comes easy to her, easily to her. And so I think if you go into the meditation with an easy sort of attitude of accepting it, I think that's probably how you'll get the most benefit. So Isis, she comes in many forms, she's drawn many ways because she was in the Egyptian history for ages. This is a picture of her, just to give you the idea, because the Egyptians believed that you could call the god or goddess into any image or statue. This is an earring, but it will do the job. And she's going to be with us today as we enter this healing meditation. Now, I would say, as I say on all my meditation videos, you don't have to work too hard. It's just me telling a story and you picturing yourself at the centre of the story, like the central character. So if you get yourself comfortable, give yourself permission to fidget and wiggle if you need to. And if a thought comes wandering into your head that takes you away from my voice, just let it float away. You don't need to hold on to those thoughts. You may find that when you encounter the goddess Isis she speaks or you may see symbols and interesting things. I do love to hear about them in the comments. I love hearing what people get out of my meditations but um, just be open to the fact that sometimes when you're first receiving a message it doesn't make sense and if it doesn't make sense straight away, don't sort of burst the bubble of the meditation trying to work it out. Just let it be and then think about it after or maybe write it down when you come out of the meditation and it will become clearer as time goes on. So, without further ado, I'd like you to just settle yourself comfortably, sitting down or laying down, whatever works for you because we're going to ask Isis to put you back together again, just like she did as Iris. Whatever you need, emotional, physical, spiritual healing, whatever you need, let's go get it for you. So if you're nice and comfortable, it's just time to focus on your breathing. You might want to close your eyes. It's often easier to visualise when you close your eyes. Don't have to work too hard. Just see if you can slow down your breathing a little bit. Let your body soften into the surface you're laying on or sitting on. Let your breath just spread out your muscles as they soften and relax. Let your breath be easy and soft and relaxed. Let your muscles spread out and relax.
into your mind to imagine that you are standing outside some big doors. The weather is perfect and these big doors are in an outside wall. These doors lead into a temple garden. Before we go through these doors, I'd like you to think about what your intention is for being here. Before we enter Isis Garden, it would be good to set an intention to enter Isis Garden and receive all the healing for your highest and greatest good from the Lady Goddess Isis. As you open the doors now, you see in front of you the most beautiful Egyptian garden with a long pool down the centre. You can smell the verdant plants and flowers. You can feel the sunshine warm your body as you walk towards the pool. Directly in front of you are steps down into the pool. This pool is a beautiful natural pool. When you are going to take a cleansing journey across it. It's deep enough for you to swim if you want to, but shallow enough for you to walk if that's your preference. The sun is warm and as you step down the steps into the water, the water feels just the water is going to take away everything you don't need it's going to cleanse away any limiting beliefs doubts sticky energy as you travel across the pool it's going to cleanse away all that you don't need so that you can receive the greatest healing. Enjoy the sensations of the water as you travel across the pool. Let it wash you and cleanse you and feel your energy lifting, your vibration lifting as all that does not serve you is cleansed away. Travel along the pool. Feeling those beautiful feelings, the sensation of the water. Until you reach the steps on the other side. As you ascend out of the water now, up the steps. You feel the warm sunlight hit your skin and feel completely comfortable. You 
front of you, there is a long couch, which you can just lay down on and rest. Rest in the beautiful smell of the garden. As the sun dries, you just how you like it. Feeling good in your body, feeling good as your muscles relax, having just swum or walked across the water, feeling comfortable and relaxed. Almost, almost asleep almost unaware of what's going on as you lay there so comfortable and relaxed. Then you notice coming towards you almost soundlessly from amongst the trees. The Lady Ibis. Here she comes, the Goddess of Healing. And in her hand, she carries a blue lotus flower. She walks towards the couch you're laying on, so comfortable. And she tells you she's going to deliver the healing you need. Not just in the areas you think you need it, but in all the areas you need it. Even those you haven't even thought of. And your job is just to lay there and follow her magic. She puts the lotus flower to your face and you smell its beautiful scent. Take a deep breath. She then slowly starts walking around the couch to create a circle, trailing the magical lotus flower as the magical energy from Isis and the lotus flower create a circle around you. You can see the energy and feel the energy of her first circle as it's completed. As she starts to walk another circle. Her energy is getting stronger now. Building around you this healing blue energy of a circle and Isis energy. She completes her second circle. And now she goes for her final circle, the third circle. Energy getting stronger now. Cocooning you, relaxing you, sparkling around you. Almost like a mist. She completes her third circle. She puts the lotus flower to your face again. And this time, 
you take a deep breath and close your eyes. And you come to realise you are now inside the lotus flower. Inside the lotus flower is the softest bed you've ever felt. And the petals surround you. The petals of the lotus flower surround you and deliver eyes this evening through the petals of the lotus flower. Feel the healing energy into you, getting stronger now. Feel the vibrations of the blue healing lotus flower going through your body. You watch the, pe the petals and see the sky above and then as you look out at the sky you see Isis wings folding around the lotus flower. You're in a circle of petal within a circle of wings within a circle of energy. Feel the power, feel the energy as it radiates from your core outwards, reaching all the way up into your head, reaching all the way up into your mind and your brain and radiating out through your scalp, through your eyes and your ears and your mouth, eyes this energy building. Feel it radiate out from your core, from your heart, all the way down your arms, all the way. Eyes, this energy shining out your fingertips. As it radiates in your core, let all your internal organs bathe in the energy and feel alive. Let all of them sit where they need to be and receive this healing energy. As it radiates out your trunk your tummy, through your spine, through your hips and through your buttocks, through your groin. Let that energy radiate down your legs and through your knees. Let it go through your calves and through your feet. Let the energy radiate out the end of your toes. Let it sparkle, let it twinkle, let it fill you up entirely. With a sense of total well-being and relaxation, just lay there and bask in those sensations. Now feel yourself floating down gently, almost like a feather. As the lotus flower and the isis wings dissipate and you find yourself back on the couch. A comfortable couch. In the beautiful temple garden. with the perfect weather where you feel totally still and relaxed that sense of well-being just filling you up as you luxuriate 
in the healing you've received. As you look up at the sky, you see Isis's parting gift to you. You see a feather gently floating down to land upon you. You can keep this feather and take it with you and think of it when you need more healing or just to connect with the Lady Isis. Now I'd like you to imagine roots growing out of your body, growing down, down, through the garden, through the rocks, through the stones, past the water, down, down, into the earth, roots growing down, 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 deep towards the centre of the earth until they find a nice big sturdy rock to wrap you around. They're going to wrap around the rock and connect you to the earth and make you feel more grounded just before you wake up so that you don't float away. Feel those roots now connected with the ground. Feel the earth energy being, bringing you back to the surface which you're on. Start feeling your body sitting or laying on the surface that you're on. It's time to come back to the waking world now. Maybe give yourself a little wiggle and a stretch in any way that feels good. And when you're ready, take a big deep breath and open your eyes. I really hope that you feel amazing. I know I do. And I'd love to hear what you thought of it and what you found and what you saw. I love to hear about it in the comments. Do like and subscribe for more videos. I'm always open to hearing suggestions of what you'd like next. And I hope you have a beautiful day.